Oh my God, cousin Genius, what's going on with these days? Girl, what you been doing? You over there sleeping, aren't you, girl? No, I'm prepping for NaNoWriMo. You know, NaNoWriMo is coming up in November, National Authors Writers Month, where as writers, you know, the anointing writer that I am, we take the month and we challenge ourselves to write 50,000 words. So I was going back and forth about what I'm going to work on. So I decided I'm going to uh, finalize my, my um, financial workshop course because i'm still thinking i feel like i need to it needs to be a book that everybody can get but then it needs to also be a course so i'm just kind of working through that in my head and i'm prepping for nanorimo you know so i was up until almost 10 o'clock last night can you imagine me jen is up till 10 o'clock at night and got no nap which is why i woke up at almost seven o'clock this morning girl i've been busy but i miss you because I miss you. I know y'all be emailing me about Shirley Strawberry Girl. Them videos is long, honey. I don't have an hour to sit, but she finally put up one, a short one for about 30 minutes. So let's run through that one so I could give y'all a little laughs and giggles this morning. Then I'm going to get on at this house, okay? But I love you and thank you for all of you who's wishing me a happy birthday. Yes, honey. I celebrate the, all the month of um, October, the whole month. Yes. Until November 1st, 12 1 a.m. It's my birthday. Absolutely. Yes. I am resetting up my Patreon because a lot of people's having a lot of time over on Janice Hilton mentoring. So I'm going to reset up my, my Patreon. Thank you for those of you who have joined my membership here on YouTube. I have to relook at that because a lot of people's having a hard time navigating the Janice Hilton, uh, mentoring channel. Also be sure to subscribe. Thank you for my 30,000 remnant cousins. Uh, listen, we're cousins over here. We're remnant cousins. We're church girls. We're provincials over here. We invite everybody. We welcome everybody. Absolutely love you and adore you. Thank you so much. Thank you for those of you who have picked up my books and have helped me to get over 200 reviews on Amazon. Let me tell you, honey, I'm I'm celebrated on you in the, in the authors group. I'm like a queen, you know, because I have 200 reviews because authors... They don't get 20, much less 200, okay? But I know it's because I have a YouTube channel and, you know, that kind of helped to push you guys to pick up my book and review. So if you have not reviewed my books, please run on over to Amazon and review The Naked Wife is the next book. We're trying to get to 200 reviews. I absolutely love you. Love you. Dating is for data. I'm going to try to have this to you guys by Christmas. I know it's shameful, girl. It's so shameful. I'm going to have to put it on sale for y'all. But I love you, darlings. I love you. Let's listen to Ernestio and Shirley. What they're talking about? What they're talking about today? Yes, honey. Let's go. Today is the Lord's day today. It is. Forgive me, Lord. Jesus. But today, I'm gonna salute my motherfucking self today. Wait a minute. Sometimes. Are you how are you forgiving God and cussing at the same? I'm trying to answer, but anyways, girl, I ain't got time to that. You sit around me doing so much, you want to take time to really think about yourself and things you've done for others, and how many people can help you get where you need to get to. God's good all the time. Yes, He is. Come on, preacher. Fuck it. Oh, today is my motherfucking day. Wait a minute. Believe that. Wait a minute. I thought He was about to give me a sermon. I was like, Come on with it, preacher. Come on, pastor. Sitting in the house for a long time. Trying to get back to it now. Okay. This video contains four jail calls. The first call is between Shirley Strawberry and Ernesto. They talk about his court dates and getting bond. Shirley says she has been betrayed and goes on to talk about a tragic hardship that her friend is going through. Take a listen. Hello? Hi, honey. You must fell asleep. No, why you say that? I had to call you back earlier. About oh, an you hour did? ago. Yeah, about an hour ago. Oh, I didn't, I didn't get a call from you. Uh, by the way, by the way, well, shout out to uh, phone calls from jail. Shout shout out to phone calls from jail. I, I got cash at you again, girl. Did I get my YouTube money? You know, my YouTube money be so small, girl, because I'm not really making videos, you know. But girl, I gotta check my bank account. I get my bank account. I'm gonna check it. I'm a I'm a cash app. You okay, Jane calls phone calls from jail. I'm a I'm gonna have to give her a monthly offering. You know, until this is over, because she be getting it all night. Did I give you a check for October, your girl? I don't remember, but I'll make sure I cash up you. Okay, boo boo. Yeah, that's my girl. Mm. Take me out to another day, uh, 31st to the 31st. 
but I didn't know that. They did, they did what now? They said, said the date off. Yeah, my court date is the 31st. Oh, wow. Court yeah, date's 31st. I, I, I got in there. I had another court date showing uh, another bond here for the, uh, the, the conspiracy. That devil uh -huh. came up on that day. So what it is is he couldn't run it all in together. So, but remember when I asked him that earlier? Yeah. Yeah, he couldn't run it all in together. So he probably didn't respond back because he already knew what he was going to do. Okay. Yeah, that's probably why he didn't respond back. I don't understand why the lawyer can't oh, okay. respond. That's what he's going to do. Okay. Yeah. I got yeah. the secretary. Oh, first on Halloween day. Hey, that's something. Yeah. yeah. That's but, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. This is the end of 10 days. That's it. Uh -huh. I want it down, but I can't get everything you want. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. So, but they are giving bonds out because you've been over there a certain amount of time. So I've seen that for myself. Okay. Yeah, I did see that for myself. So a certain amount of time when I did, they got to give you a bond. So they're giving you a bond. They ain't got to give it to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, you've had, um, so when you got there, they said it's not today. They moved it back to the 31st. Yeah, yeah, because I had two days, today and the 31st for two different cases. So what they're going to do, they're going to run it in together. I figured that. BC, BC probably already put a motion in today to put uh, uh, to put it in before we go to court on the thirty first to merge all them cases together. Mm -hmm. Cause see, I got because oh, okay. I got a bond for the other two yesterday. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, oh. you, you, so you got a bond from yesterday? Yeah, I got a bond from yesterday. That's what, that's what oh. I call you about. Well, I know, but you, they didn't say how much it was or anything. Yeah, it's, it's twenty thousand. It's two thousand. Get out. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, but so, you can't get out. You can't get out until everything is cleared up. Okay, so the bond was thirty thousand and ten thousand. What he say? I can't rewind. Got time? Because you know I don't deal with all this criminality. I don't deal with people that go to jail, so I don't know what the bond is. But I know I do know it's the percentage of because I know somebody. I do, I know somebody. I know somebody was somebody that went to jail. We was trying to get the money together. <laughs> to get them out of jail. So we, you know, we collected the money and we got them out of jail. We gave it to the person to help the person get out of jail. But I knew it was a lot of money, but they only had to have like a certain percentage. Yeah, yeah. We was passing the orphan play around at the job. Cause you know, these women child, you know, they be having these criminal baby daddies and they be crying at the job talking about, well, my baby daddy jail guy, we go have to pass the orphan plate. So we did pass the orphan plate and got them out of jail. You know, we got them the bond and stuff. So. I know it's a percentage, not if he says 50,000, it's not 50,000, it's really, but anyways, clarify that for me in the comments, okay, yes. Is that what you're saying? Yes, out of bond. <clears throat> yes, that's what I was supposed to mean today. So what they try to do is, is try me again, so hoping that I didn't get a bond. You understand now? Say it again. It was, I guess my, my theory is they try to charge me again, wait till the last minute charge me again that I go to court today, you see? And hopefully uh -huh. I wasn't going to get a bond. Then I would have to sit another 90 days to get a bond. But it didn't work like that. BC, BC showed up in the set all and I got a bond. Oh, okay. You understand what I'm saying now? Uh-huh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I suppose I went to court today. So what he's going to do is he's going to merge all the cases together with the one I just got the bond with to get a bond on the 31st. Okay, so that's, that's what you believe he's doing. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it does. Yeah, so that's what's going on. So mm -hmm. that way, because if I would have went the day just on one, I still wouldn't have had to wait till the 31st to get out anyway. So, yeah, okay. All right. That's what's going on. Mm-hmm. Okay, <laughs> well, no, what's I mean, funny? you know. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Lord. That's all I can say. Thank you, Lord. Yes, ma'am. I talked to, my, I talk talk to my, girl, my girlfriend, who, you know, the one that did my eyebrows before, and she had a real nice husband, and I told her he was dying. He got real sick. Uh, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her yeah. husband has brain cancer. He has tumors all in his brain now. They found, yeah. And so, um, and so, I I'm just grateful because you know we're, we're going through something, but we're not going through what she's going through. He's in hospice. She's, he's getting ready to die. Golly. Yeah, yeah. He's getting ready to die. He was the nicest man. Oh my God, was he a nice man? Really, Shirley? Really? Really, Shirley, you comparing a man who's about to die because of sickness, a hus a wife, and probably children and family members that's about to die 
of brain cancer, of sickness. And we know if you study your Bible, that sickness is in this world because we live in a sinful world. Okay, it attach itself to you and attack you, come through your bloodline and stuff, and some people just attack him. But you're comparing a man, your friend, not, and she said, real nice husband, about to lose her husband to your criminal husband. You're comparing her situation to your criminal husband, Shirley. Girl, that's low down. That is low down dirty. You know, and I know I've said some low down dirty stuff, but this Shirley, low down girl, this low down. I wouldn't even compare that woman about to lose her husband to this foolishness that your criminal husband is about to go through. Man, is he a nice man? Anyway, um, his family came down and somehow they got power of attorney and they shut her out of everything. What? She can't even she can't even go see him. He must have got a lot of money or something. Well, that's that you know, he's he's he his family was, was part of the black mafia. And it's real. It was a story about it and everything. How is that possible? Let me go get power of attorney and my husband. How is that possible? How is the family supposed to get power of attorney over the wife? Was they not living together? Was they separated? Girl, what? Clarify in the comments, lawyers. I know I have a lot of lawyers among us. Yes, lawyers. Come on, lawyers. You know I was supposed to be a lawyer. I was supposed to go to law school. Mm. Girl, what? <clears throat> Wow. Everything. You know, it's in, it's been in the newspaper. People know about about him. You know, Steve probably knows about him. But anyway, so he left there and he found her. And they've been married for like 13 years. And, and his aunt came to town and his whole family and, and they didn't like her. And she said, I didn't even know they didn't like me. She said, but here, you know, and I said, wow. I said, I'm so sorry to hear that. I said, I'm not going through anything as serious as you are. I said, but I am going through something where the people close to me have, you know, uh, betrayed me. They didn't like me and all this kind of stuff. So I understand what you're going through. You know, a lot of times it's the people that are close to you that you don't, uh, you know, that, that'll stab you in your back. And um, so, yeah, so he's dying. She, they got two kids. She had to tell the kids that they're dying, that their father is dying. You know, she has them in therapy and she can't do anything. She can't go to the hospital. They, they're trying to get her an emer emergency guardianship right now because the family, oh, and they took him, they were, they're trying to take him back to Cleveland, take the body back to Cleveland. And she's trying right. to stop that. Yes, it's, it's like really terrible. You know, it's really, really terrible. And um, so, you know, she told me that and it's like, oh my God, no matter what you're going through, you know, there's always somebody going through something worse than you. There are people, you know, that have way better things going on than you do, but there are things, there are people that have way worse things going on than you do. So by talking to her, cause she's been on my mind really strongly lately. So I said, let me just call her. And she said, oh, you haven't been updated. And she said, she told me all that that was going on with him. And, you know, cause all of a sudden, he was one minute, he was fine. And then the next minute, this happened suddenly, like in the next, last six months, you know, they had like a beautiful marriage, you know, he would send her beautiful flowers at her job and everything. He made sure that she was well taken care of. And she was always just so you could tell she was a woman who someone really loved her and took care of her. And I always admired their relationship, you know, and she said, Shirley, I just love you. She said, and I said, I love you too. And I said, I'm, um, you know, I'm just in awe of your strength because this happened so suddenly and, and they just had, you know, such a beautiful marriage and everything. And, you know, that's just how life is. So it just, I'm telling you all that to say that, you know, we're going through something right now, but we're going to get through it. And it's not that, you know, we, we don't have a health crisis, you know, right. we're not, dying. yeah, we're not sick, you know, or anything. We'll, we'll get through this. We will definitely get through this. You know? Yeah. Yeah. He's dying. Yep. And she's got to tell the kids and it's just, you know, Woo, she said, it, it's just a lot, but you know, she's hanging in there. She's, she's fighting. She's fighting. She's fighting. They wouldn't even let her in the end to see her husband. Jesus. But she's married though. They, uh, uh, they got power of attorney. They moved him. She, they didn't, she didn't want him moved, but they moved him to NC. He's not in his right mind, you know, because the tumors are in his brain. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. So it's really, uh. How do you get cancer in the brain like that? I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know. Just like you get it anywhere else, I guess. Damn. Yeah. Damn. 
talk. Yeah. Yeah, it really is. But, I mean, you know, hey, this is messed up. You okay, man? You call. Yeah. Well, yeah, he's got to wait till the 31st now. 31st. Yeah. They're going to try to put everything together. You just get him one bomb for the 31st. That's what he said. This is Tasha, honey. How you doing? Okay, I'm good. What is it? I got a call. I just got this oh. ring ring. I just got a weather I'm good. I didn't know you. Hey, uh, how's your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> really? Ten more days. Ten more days. Mm-hmm. The 31st. Okay. And then we'll go to court. He didn't go. Yeah, yeah. They postponed it. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, well, Hey, I'm glad I got rid of that nigga. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I got rid of that nigga, yeah. man. Yeah. 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 Man, I've been, in, I've been in here for five years fucking around that clown. That's cute, my friends, but man. <laughs> yeah. 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 But well, uh, I'm anyway. good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tasha, that's good news. All right, you guys, I'll be up in a minute to work. <laughs> I see. Look at you guys. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so that just let me, you know, it just took me to a different place. It's like you never know. You just never know. Life is crazy. Yes, it is. That, mm-hmm. that's, that's sad to hear it. Uh, yeah, it's really a story. Lose her husband. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. How come I can do that? The power attorney, but that's your wife. That's your husband. I don't understand it either, that. Ernest, though. Yeah. And um, they did it. And it his because, because he gave it to he, he gave it to him. The oh, husband did. Oh, he did it before he got married. No, no, no. He did it just recently when they came from Cleveland. She said she called him and told him what was going on with him, and she wanted them. Okay, okay, all right. <clears throat> that makes sense. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense because I don't know how they just go to the court and get power of attorney. Big, and he got a wife, so he gave them power of attorney. <clears throat> okay, well that's different, but why would he do that to his to the fa- uh, He's an idiot. That man. You are going to give your family power of attorney and you know they don't like your wife. Let me take Mike on down to the court and get power of attorney for him. And his move. <laughs> his family to spend time with him and they came in and took over and pushed her all the way out the way well, why would he do um, that why would he he, I told you he, he's not in his right mind honey he oh, wasn't in his man. right mind. yeah and the aunt that came but she can fight that she can fight that she can fight that and say he was not in his right mind if he is sick have brain cancer and is in hospice she could where they live at that could go down up here. Uh uh-uh. uh. Oh, you was sick. Oh, no, ma'am. You don't, uh uh-uh. uh. You don't even have the power. You can't give no power of attorney. And he's not in his right mind. Ask me how I know, but I had to go to court to get power of attorney and guardianship of my own child when she turned 18, honey. And the states gave her three lawyers. Lexi was sitting over there with three lawyers. Me sitting over here by myself because I couldn't afford no lawyer. Mm-hmm. And I had to prove. That you know, I have to get guardianship over her. Oh, child. <clears throat> hey, she's like a mother to him. So he didn't oh. see anything they were doing. You know, he didn't. So, he didn't see anything wrong. He's got brain tumors. He didn't. You know. So they put him in another hospital. Yeah, they moved him. They moved him without her consent. But it's not that she didn't have any control anymore. They, so she they don't felt, know, she, she don't know where he is. Yeah, she knows where he is. She knows where he is. So he's in she a hospital, at a hospital. She, she wanted him at home. They wanted him in the hospital. She had all the stuff at the house. But when they came and got power of attorney, they moved. They got him back in the hospital and moved him because they wanted control. Damn. Ain't that crazy? Wow. Uh huh. Wow. Yeah, you didn't think about then, but how old is he? Forty. He's fifty something. That's that's okay. young. Fifty four, fifty seven, something like that. Maybe you're you're around yeah. your age, a little younger. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's that is some sad shit. It really, really is. Damn. Uh-huh. And the kids, you know. Oh, they got little kids or something? Yeah. For real? Yep. Oh, LaVerte you know called me today. You know Let's what? See. I had a dream about her last night. Oh, did you? I sure did. I had a dream about her last night. 
That's mm-hmm. crazy. <laughs> yeah. All day, because she knew it was today. Oh, okay, but, okay. Yeah, and Dion touched bases with me. Okay, okay. All yeah. right. Yeah, this time is going to be on third first. Yeah, yeah and I'll, I'll tell the month, too. I'll tell them on because everybody's waiting. Yeah, they waiting. Debbie, they... Yeah, Debbie just called in to see what was going on because I guess everybody's waiting to call them. Yeah, well, I'm coming, but they ain't got to worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's in God's hand. We're going to be good. Yeah, we're going to be good. I learned a lot. I'm glad you got some stress off your shoulder. <clears throat> you vented out. Yeah, that made me feel pretty good. <laughs> well, yeah. you know, I, I, I made the decision not to worry you with any more stuff, but, you know, now... I think but you I can yeah, well, I mean, you know, I, I, I can handle it. I can handle it. Ain't no whim now. I can handle it. <laughs> um, I know that. But I'm just saying you might be concerned about me, but I'm fine, too. I'm not a punk either. Yeah, I know. You didn't show me that. Okay, you talk to a you ain't no punk. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm... <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's okay. You know, like you said, they picked the wrong one. Ain't that something? They always pick the wrong one. Uh-huh. Being in the herd. Yeah. Yep. Like, you're a jewel, but guess what? At the end of the day... That's their problem. It ain't your problem no more. You you done you done clean the blood is off your hands now. Yeah. yeah. So For sure. You, that's mm-hmm. right. So you gonna do you do you as you say, gonna do you, boo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. All right, well I I can touch base you with sometime tomorrow. I love you. And I have a great night tonight and uh work in peace today. Work in peace. No stress. You're right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um something else. I was trying to make sure I told you everything. I, I guess that's it. I told you just about everything. Um, you know, I'm leaving on Friday. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and know. I'll be back on Monday. I'll be back on Monday. Okay. Well, I'll be touching base with you <clears throat> next four. Right. And on the 31st, uh, do you know what time? Five o'clock. Same time. Oh, it's still same time? Yes, okay. same time. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes, Tosh. Yes, Tosh. Okay, hon. I'm going to go. All right. Love you. Tosh. All right. You, you good? Just get everything out? Wow. Yeah, I'm good. I got it all out. I got everything together. I'm good. I'm good. Um, so, have you talked to DC? No, I haven't talked to I feel sorry for that woman. Oh. Thank you for using Global Tell Link. This next call is between Ernesto and Lamont. They talk about Ernesto's charges concerning his co-defendant, Erica King. Take a listen. Hello? What up, Lab? What's up? How she got, man? Hey, man, I'm chilling. What's going on? Sarah told me you want me to call you. Yeah, cause you had tried to call me earlier, but I couldn't. I couldn't get in. I hit the wrong button and it hung up. Oh, oh, she must have texted. You must have texted him while I was on the phone with. Her. She said you called her yesterday. Huh? She said you called her yesterday. No, I called her today. Oh, today. Okay, she must have signed to see. She must. She must. Oh, okay, okay. I got you. I got you. What you got, Flair? Oh man, I'm living, bro. I'm just chilling. Just trying to maintain till you get out. Everything's good, man. Just staying blessed. I ain't stressed. God is good, man. He's holding us in up. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I, I go to court today at 5 o'clock, so God willing, I'm going to be get a bond on these right here, and then uh, uh, I got to get uh, one more bond. So, we're going to go on the day. See what my sister, I seen old Patterson on TV today representing a police officer. Did you see that? Yeah, what did he do? The police officer. You remember when that police uh, shot that boy like 10, 15 times, tried to break in the police car? Mm. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, well, Patterson out there uh, representing the police today. I said, well, damn, ain't that something? That's why he told me uh, he wanted time to talk good for me. Ain't that something? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, that's that's, that's something. He's got to be seen on TV. That's what I saw today. Yeah. But other than that, man, I'm just maintaining I ain't got shit going on, player. Hold on. Yeah, I ain't got shit going on. Yeah, so they give you a bond today, then. When do, when do, when do I have to give them, Shirley? To show her what she need to do. Okay, so this this is what I had to have it. If I get a bond today, uh, I have not been indicted on these cases right here. I called my lawyer this morning, told me no, I have not. So uh, if I get a bond today, then I know what my next step is. But I still have been indicted on uh, uh, one charge, and I have to go to court on the twenty third, on the twenty third of <clears throat> November. But what happened is he has to put that bond motion in because it's too different from magistrate and state. I got one case in the state. The rest of them that uh, did them with Roswell is a uh, manager. So I go to court for that today. You understand? So, yeah. Long, long story short is I get a bond today, and when I go to court, I already give a court date for uh, 23rd for the uh, other charge I got. But all that is just paying a check off. That's, that's all it is. Either I'm a plea or I ain't going to plea. Uh, it's a plea arrangement. That's basically what it is. 
but All he has right. he has to put that motion in today after I get a bond for these charges. He's the major charges right here that I'm going for. That's a conspiracy. You understand that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So basically, what it is is I basically once uh, my lawyer put that motion in for the bond here for the charge I go for on the 23rd of November, I can be in there uh, right. five to ten days in the courtroom. Or he might can get this shit put in today. I don't know what's going on. But we'll see. But the long as I stay here is November 23rd. Yeah. But I'm going to go ahead and pay them bonds off and be bonded out on these charges. These, these, are, these are the ones he's talking about on TV. Yeah, that's what they're talking about on TV. Yeah, these are char- these, this is what they're trying to charge me with. But it, I don't have a charge with you're talking about on TV. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, I don't have a charge with you. They just got me for conspiracy. That's all. Conspiracy. So that's what I'm going for today. These are the most major ones right here that I have a code of with. You got it now? <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So my thing is, I'm hoping I don't get on the leg monitor. I hope pray I don't. And I uh, get a decent bond today. And that's the most critical thing right there. Because so as long as I have to stay here, it'll be five to ten days. I have to stay here five to ten days, five days anyway, because it takes 24 <clears throat> four days off to let you out. <clears throat> All right. And then I had to get transferred all the way back to Carl County. I mean, uh, Florida County, because I'm in Carl County. So it's already going to be a three day process. As long as I get out, I'm good. So I'll let you know, I'll let you know probably about uh, 5 30, 6, 6 o'clock today. Hello? All right, well, let me know. Let me know. Uh, you understand what's going on now? Yeah, 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 I understand. Okay, all right. Okay, but other than that, I'm good. Everything is moving according to plan. So, God willing, we'll be starting our process today. All right, well, just let me know. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm good, bro. I'm good. Okay, okay. I'm yeah, good. That's good. That's I'm good. good. I feel good. I'm good. Okay, but well, that's what I want to know. You feel good. I feel good. Everything's good. Yeah, so yeah. when you find out something today, then call me and let me know. All right, call me and let you know. See you later. Okay, all right, well, you be This next call is also between Ernesto and Lamont. They talk about his case, and Ernesto tells Lamont that he wants Sonia to visit his lawyer because he thinks his rights are being violated. Take a listen. What's your cap, What's going on, bro? Hey, I got, what's your name? What's your name? Yeah, I know who you're talking uh, about. Yeah, I know you're talking about. Uh, you're on the line. Yeah, I know, I know. I just got her to call you so I can, uh, I got to get her right here to go sit down with my lawyer. Cause I can't really talk on your phones and that no more. So I got to get her to explain um, what happened in the courtroom yesterday. They gave me a bond, but they left off six uh, six charges. But they called count. Yeah, that's count a lot of charges. On the phone, what I had. Uh-huh. So if I didn't have a uh-huh. count, I'm not be to bond out. Now, because I want to bond out, I got to have a leg monitor. And I got I can't go back to full count until the case is over. Okay. So, okay, you got to have a leg monitor. Yeah, I gotta have leg monitor, but I gotta I gotta move to another county. I gotta I can't leg move monitor forward. move to another county. So that was yesterday. So they gave me uh gave me uh twenty five thousand on each count where I had one yesterday, but they didn't put That's a lot of counts. on there. Oh, the six counts on wow. there. So I gotta get a lawyer to figure out what happened with it. But I can't talk to him because he didn't court all the damn time and he ain't came to see me. He came to the courtroom uh yesterday, but I need for my folks to go down there and uh, be comfortable where she at because she studied that law shit and she can show him what's going on. See, my right, my life my rights are being violated all the way around. I ain't been no preliminary hearing. I've been here paying 90 some days for all my charges. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Right. And then the day I talked to the wifey, uh, what happened with her today, that shit was crazy. That shit was fucking crazy. So. Yeah, they I, went over there and confiscated this shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You can't do that, though. I know they can't, but that's what they did. That's what they did. So I can't worry about that. The only thing I worry about now is they didn't, they didn't keep. She gonna go get the truck, the white truck tomorrow. They'll pick up truck tomorrow from the um, uh, what do you call it, repo place. So she gonna get that tomorrow. Right. But I got it. But the wife who can't talk to them, she can't talk to the lawyer like this person can. So I need for her to be my mouthpiece to my lawyer, so my lawyer can understand what's going on because he ain't came to see me. Because that, to me, he dropped the ball. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. Because okay. They've been, they've been taking shit. What it is, they're charging, taking charge off, had a charge, taking charge off, flip flopping the fucking paperwork. That's what happened. Shuffling me a fuck around. So if you look at one, you call see what's going on. You see a drop, add, drop, add, put more cases, put more, drop more cases. Then I get a bond for one, then I'll get more bond for the other one. That's how it's been going. 
You got what I'm saying? The grand game is good. Yeah, back and forth with it. So right now I, I really understand because when I went to court, the DA said, hey, man, I, I forgot the other one. I should have brought them with me. He said it. So it's going to be on the transcript. He said that. So I supposed to got a bond with all they charged yesterday. But I did. So now I got to get her to come up because she know that shit. And I can't do no cookie shit. I ain't trying to do none of that shit. Flam, flam. I want to do none of that. All I want to do is get her to sit down with my lawyer to have a great conversation with him to see what really I know what's going on. You got what I'm saying? All right, well, I'll speak to her. I'll speak to her, and we'll put it together, all right? Yeah, because I know you can put it together, but she definitely needed to do that. Well, I ain't going to be back for a couple of weeks, so I'm, I'm going to just have to do it over the phone. We'll just have to do it by phone. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. When you getting back? Uh, next month. Okay. End of the month. Really. End of the month. Okay. Yeah, so that's what's going on. I, I definitely got to get her to be my mouthpiece because she got, she know, the laws, she know everything, and she got everything legitimized to see what I'm, what I'm fucking up with. So she didn't help me, and now she's legit. But the way the way the thing go, I don't want to I don't want to do nothing fucked up on this phone because that's how they get you to get you on the telephone. Right, it gets on the phone. Right. Yeah, all right, cool. Phone. All right. So all right. Well, I um, yeah, yeah, I got you. So I'll speak to her and then we we'll go for now. All right. Yeah, she's trying she's trying to get here this week because it's gonna be shut down. If they don't, I'll be sitting here the next year because there ain't gonna be no more court. It's over with. Oh, they're gonna cut court off. Yeah, it's a holiday. You know, there's no judge and lawyer. They could they go out of town. All day. It's over with, bro. It's over with. I'll be oh, saying for, yeah, I'll be saying it next, next year. So that's, that's why I'm upset because the judge said I had a bond. But shit, they, they did. They put all the counts together. That's what happened. Yeah. I waited for four months to get that. And I still stuck. So I don't worry about the other oh, county. Because, yeah, as long as I can get out of food and go handle my other business at the other county, I'm cool with that. And I could be going through my business and get on that. I'm not worrying about nobody taking shit. I don't really care about that shit. Mm-hmm. As long as I'm free, I'm good. So I got to get on that here so I can all get right. out of that place. Okay, well, let me speak to her then. I'll, 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 I'll call me back. So okay. let me speak to her then. I'll, I'll call I'll get back with you. All right. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you for using Global Telling. Next. All right, Boo Boo, I'm going to leave off here because my time is running out. Even though I speed it up, it still seems like it's going really slow. So let me know what you think about this. I'll finish this this other little part with Sony. I don't understand how she's getting the side chick to go talk to the lawyer because he thinks his rights is violated. Isn't that why you have a lawyer? Anyways, let me know what y'all think in the comments. Love you. Gotta go talk to you later. Bye. Thank you much. Bye.